The Santo Nino Parish in Tacloban City is a historical landmark in the city. In 1596, the Jesuits built a small chapel or visita under their titular dulce number de Jesus. The small chapel was made of light materials and nipa. When the Jesuits were expelled from the country, the Augustinians from nearby Cebus, Basilica del Santo Nino, took over and renamed the Chapel Santo Nino. This all happened in 1768, the same year when Tacloban was declared a city and the first Spanish settlers settled in. The Franciscans came in around 1843 to manage the parish and by 1860, a new Romanesque church was built with a towering appearance and a prominence of round arches and small windows ventilating around the church. The church was made of adobe and a mixture of coral stones, a common style and method during this period. It was in 1990 that the church was handed over to the Archdiocese of Palo. The church has since then battled and sustained a few typhoons and earthquakes. The strongest typhoon being in 2013 when Yolanda Hayan destroyed most of Tacloban and the church provided cover and shelter saving human life. A big rehabilitation project started in 2014 with the help of donations to make the parish shine again after the typhoon in 2013. The Santo Niño Shrine is one of the 29 presidential rest houses that the late President Ferdinand Marcos had built. It was built for his wife Imelda Marcos who was born in Tacloban City. The museum contains a chapel that preserves the replica of the Santo Niño de Leyte. There are ecclesiastical antiques and art collections assembled by native daughter Mrs. Imelda Marcos. There are also some decorative arts from France, Italy, and Germany. One of the main attractions in the museum are the paintings of the 14 stations of cross done by Filipino artist Wooden Bas Relief of the legend of the first Filipino man-woman, si Malakas at si Maganda. Being the one of the most promising cities of the South, Tacloban City is a world renowned for its natural ecological beauty and diversity and for its historical significance in the Second World War. In fact, it has drawn thousands of visitors every year to reveal in its many fascinating attractions. One notable heritage sites of the city is the Santo Nino Shrine and Heritage Museum. The Tacloban City Hall is located atop Kanhurao Hill, overviewing the Tacloban City, Kangabato Bay, San Pedro Bay, San Juanico, Catechian Point, and Summer Island. It is the set of the city government of Tacloban since June 12, 1952. To the south of Tacloban City Hall is Baluan Park and Amphitheater. To its northeast is the piece of memorial marker of Philippines-Japan friendship, the Madonna of Japan. That's all. Thank you for watching.